Johnny mother is here. We like to say what's up, guy. It's our way to say hi. In February, it is good to know a plow guy. It is shaped like a key. Also, where I like to ski. Tell by my belt buckle that I'm most definitely from. So what can I say about today's hunt? Um, quite pleased, actually. I do believe the detector gods have graced me with some good finds once again. I've paid my dues time after time. I've done my sentence, but committed no crime. Um, so I went back to that place where I got the V-nickel. Hi, right, I'm at the site where I got that V-nickel at. Um, I didn't pound the heck out of this area. I wanted to do some more research on it. Um, and it turns out that this was um, a family farm way back in the day. And in the uh, 40s or 50s, the property was donated to the town and the town turned it into a wildlife reserve. So I wanted to do some more research on it and I wanted to look up some of these plants here before I go digging around just to make sure they're not poisonous to me or uh, seeing how it's a wildlife reserve and they tend to put different species of protection in here I don't want to dig up anything that was an endangered species so but I don't know if you can see just past that stone wall there's it's an ATV trail now but it used to be the old uh, railway and then about a quarter mile that way at the end of this property where it meets up with the main road out there was a pickup station um, like a like a railway and there's a church over there too so people would get on and off the train either at the pickup station or from the church in that neighborhood so we'll see get you in the next one which I've now dubbed Nickel Park kind of a cross between Lincoln Park and Nickelback which I don't like either of those bands but still Nickel Park uh, and I'll show you why and I found evidence of an extremely rare horse that apparently they used uh, on this farm uh, back in the spider back in sorry back in the 1800s. So I'll show you the evidence of that, uh, and it's quite bizarre. But they were able to come up with the technology to do such a thing, but um, and then one really cool honorable mention, which isn't even metal at all, but it's super cool. And then the, the prize from, the, from my day's work. So, show you what I got. Thanks. So here's the evidence of that really weird horse. Um, it was too old to find any bones or skeletal remains or even dental records. So there's no real identification. But this is the left rear um, hoof of the animal. You can see it's quite large. Um, and, and sizably due to inbreeding and birth defects the front left hoof is much much smaller uh, and in, in, a, in a rare and bizarre farming accident both of his right legs were were severed this one was actually surgically replaced with an ox leg unfortunately they only had uh, half a hoof to go with it so he only had to wear a half an ox shoe and somehow with steampunk engineering from the 1800s they were able to fasten a scooter wheel type of thing for his front right foot. Um, and we can all guess where that was. So there's the bizarre horse. Screaming signal. It doesn't look that old even. I don't know how to date a horseshoe. I suppose I could ask it to dinner and buy it some flowers first, but... I'll get this one cleaned up, should come out nice. Almost looks like the one you'd use to play the game of horseshoes. You know? But I think the sides aren't straight enough. Cool. Swing beep dig. Now that's a little beauty right there. That's a small one too. Sucker was... Man, I know... My digger, the metal is a foot. And it was down in that dirt, so 10 inches to a foot deep. Nice big old horseshoe. Oh yep. 
I saw him gone was six inches down anyway. Screaming signal. Not much left to it once I get the rust off. You can see right there where it's already wafer thin. That's one side of an ox shoe. This gave me a huge signal. Even when I picked the detector up off of the ground about a foot and a half, it was still giving me a 65 all the way up to 80. I can't quite tell exactly what it is. It's some sort of a wheel, obviously. I don't know if it had anything to do with the train um, or the farm that used to be here. I, I gotta knock a lot of this crap off of it and get back to you. I did find a bunch of other uh, scrap steel that is down here in this bag. Uh, again, it's nothing fancy. Some balls of lead, scrap iron, I think a couple of shotgun shells. The huge. And then this was running all down the trail. Okay, here we go. It says it's about four inches. Okay. Shut up. It's in my hand. Try and do this over the hole. There it is. What do we get? It's old. Obviously, because I didn't bring it. Get a little cleaned up. Come right back to you. Live dig, though. And it's a coin. I think I see Abe's face right there. How's it go, Bob? Memorial. So that's where I just found the one memorial. And right here, give me another solid 81. Probably can't see it all that great, but it's another memorial. Stinking Lincoln right next to each other. I folded it up to, so I didn't have to carry it in big long straight lines. But see that? That's a long union. That's uh, This is field wire that was probably for an old school electric fence. Um, back in the early 1900s they would make an electric fence out of stripped house wire or whatever wire they could get their hands on however many pieces they could connect together in such a fashion and connect it literally connect it to a, a, a tractor battery so if you touched it you got this, the crap zapped out of you and uh, the honorable mention let's put that in before we get to the two cool prizes so here's something interesting I was sitting here chasing a, a mid 80s signal and uh, still can't still can't locate it exactly but while I was rooting around I found this Check that out. That's the neck of a bottle. The neck of the bottle is complete with a rim. It's got a root growing through it. <laughs> I don't know where the rest of the bottle is, but I'm probably chasing the bottle cap or something, but that's pretty cool. Let me get that out of here. Digging a hole for one of these pieces of wire over here, came across this. Uh, it was obviously a connected root at both ends that I severed with my shovel and my wicked digger and that's an old bottleneck I dug a bigger hole to see if I could find more pieces of the bottle I found one small shard but couldn't no evidence of what kind of bottle it was so it was obviously broken when the root started to grow through it how cool is that <laughs> that is an old bottle too I know Charlie had one similar um, similar to this kind of thing but the root was a lot more grown up around the piece, I believe, um, on his display case when I went down to his place. I'm hanging on to that. That's super cool. It's going right next to my, uh, I've got a piece of tree with a bullet stuck in it. That's also pretty cool. But that's pretty cool. And then today's two prizes was, one was this here, uh, back of a pocket watch. I'll get it cleaned up and show you a better picture.
and today's piece de resistance and the reason I now call this Nickel Park right there okay <clears throat> this one was just barely under the surface first target worth digging um, I've been here for about 45 minutes now give me a 55 56 which is definitely in the nickel range I still can't tell quite what it is let me let me get it cleaned up a bit and I'll show you holy crap holy crap holy crap holy crap holy crap okay um, <laughs> this gave me a perfect nickel signal uh, because it is a nickel but look it's a shield nickel this was the style that they made before the V nickel um, if I'm correct and if Google didn't lie to me 1866 to 1882 unfortunately this may be another one that I cannot get a date off of to confirm for sure but that is definitely a freaking shield nickel once again my oldest datable coin um, I'm not a huge firm believer in coins being able to date a property per se but when you get coins this old even if it was in circulation through the era of the V nickel even if that V nickel was in circulation you know towards the into the Jeffersons we're still going back 150 years on this property 200 years with this coin um, or more so wow <laughs> I am loving it I'm gonna call this Nickel Park guess yeah boom baby get back to you on the next one that's the end of another hunt hope you enjoyed coming out there with me um, had a great time the wind was just enough to keep the bugs away for the most part and I had a really good time I was only out for four or five hours but had a great time now I've got a shield nickel, a V nickel, and a buffalo nickel. The only ones I've ever found of each, and they are all completely dateless. I can't get a date off of any of them. The, the buffalo nickel I found last year, uh, in the same field I found that uh, 42 half dollar. Can't get a date off of the buffalo nickel. Can't get a date off of the V nickel I got last week, and now the shield nickel. Still no date, no positive date anyway. So, oh well. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, and swing beep dig.